Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. It is a Colt Delta Elite 1911, made by Colt Manufacturing. What makes this gun so unique is it shoots the 10 millimeter round. For those of you not familiar with the 10 millimeter round, I'm not going to go into a bunch of specific numbers and say it'll do this and say it won't do that. Um, I just want to say that it is more powerful than a 357 Magnum, slightly less powerful than a 41 Magnum, but you always got to watch your, your loadings because a lot of companies now sell it with uh, downgraded loading and it really just makes it about as powerful as a 40. But basically 10 millimeter round, in my opinion, is the ultimate pistol cartridge. It's, uh, it's bigger than a 9 millimeter. It's way faster than a 45. And it's like a 40 with balls. Alright guys, so today we've been out here shooting the uh, Colt Delta Elite 10mm 1911, having a lot of fun doing it. Um, you may remember some of our older videos, we were shooting the Smith & Wesson 500 and the Desert Eagle 50, and we were annihilating cinder blocks with it. Now 10mm doesn't quite do that, it's not quite that powerful, but as you can see it can still go right through at least the uh, outer wall of a cinder block. And again, this isn't going to be quite as powerful as a, as a Desert Eagle, but it's not as big. In in a normal pistol size, 10 millimeter is, is probably about the most powerful pistol cartridge you can get. Uh, I absolutely love the 10 millimeter. I'm a huge fan of it. I've got a Glock 20 and now I've got a, a Delta Elite. And it's a lot of fun. A, a lot of fun to go out and shoot. 10 millimeter ammo can get a little pricey, but if you get online and search for it, you can always find a good deal on it. Alright guys, just want to take a minute and talk about Colt 1911s. Colt for a long time has been considered the manufacturer of the finest 1911s made. Um, overall, they're, they're very good 1911s. This thing shoots great. I can't complain about it. When I first took it out of the box, this is one of the new Delta Elites that Colt has brought back into production. Um, it, a couple things. It's a 10 millimeter and it's a government model. I think most people shooting a 10 millimeter would like to have a little fancier gun to go shoot with. You got the standard government safety, you know, standard government model hammer, everything standard government model, the whole gun. And a couple things Colt did, this trigger, I'm pretty sure it's a plastic trigger, I'm going to take it out, but I'm almost 100% sure it's a plastic trigger and a plastic mainspring housing. That's a couple things that, you know, Colt used to mean quality and I gotta say I'm a little bit upset with that. Overall, the gun is a great gun, it shoots real well, the barrel locks up real nice and tight. But a couple little things when I pulled it out of the box, I was just kind of like, eh. So overall, I, I am satisfied with the gun, but there are a few things I wish that Colt did just a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun and we're going to revisit it in about a month. We're going to completely redo it. We're going to do a trigger job on it. We're going to polish the ramp. We're going to lap the frame. We're going to put all new parts on the, on the back of it, you know, new hammer, new uh, safety, uh, new trigger, new mainspring housing, put a speed chute on it everything else. We're going to completely deck it out, kind of give it the Alabama Arsenal treatment, and we're going to come back to it and shoot it off against a Wilson Combat, just for an unscientific comparison, just to see how the two do. Hey guys, here's what we're going to try to do. Um, to demonstrate the 10 millimeters effective range, because it does, for a pistol, have an extremely long effective range, and uh, still has the muzzle velocity and uh, energy of a 45 at 100 yards. We got a watermelon downrange at about 100 yards, 
and I'm going to try to see if I can hit it with 10 millimeter Colt to Delta Leap. Let's see how it goes. One thing I do want to hand it to Colt was Colt kind of kept the 10mm alive with this gun. Uh, back in the 80s, the, the first gun chamber for the 10mm was the Bren 10, and it ran into some production problems and anyway was going, was going down the drain. And Colt came out with the original Delta Elite and kind of kept the 10mm alive. And if it wasn't for the old Delta Elite, the 10mm might be completely gone by now. But uh, Colt did come out with it, and it, it is a great gun, and I'm, I'm happy to own one. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, as always, check out our other videos. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Alabama Arsenal out.